good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. I am Kat. If you haven't done one of my videos before, and it's lovely to have everyone on the mat for our yoga flow to get the joints moving. So it's going to be a bit of movement through our main key joints forwards and backwards, round and round. We're gonna keep repeating those movements to really mobilize and get the muscles that help to stretch or the muscles that need to stretch and strengthen uh, to get the joints moving to work. All right, so we're actually gonna come down onto our hands and knees. So just taking a moment to ground down in that tabletop position. Feeling the knees, the legs, the feet, the hands on the floor, and just taking a couple of breaths in. So noticing the breathing, maybe trying to breathe a little bit more slowly, a bit more fully than we have through the rest of the day. And then as you next breathe out, round up through the spine, coming into your cat stretch. And then breathe in. Arch back the other way. So exhaling, rounding and arching up. Inhaling, drawing the shoulders back and arching back the other way. See if you can notice where you're feeling the movement through the spine, maybe around the hip joints as we tilt the pelvis, shoulders moving with the spine. And then sit back for a moment, draw some circles with the wrist. Mobilizing through the wrist joint and then circling back the other way. Okay, come back into that tabletop position. Tuck, so stretch the right foot back so you've got the toes tucked under and just take a little rock forwards and backwards. So you feel the toes, or yourself rolling through the toes, starting to perhaps feel a little bit of stretch through the feet. And then put the top of the foot on the floor. And we're going to do the same thing, rolling so that we're crunching the toes up and then rolling over them. Maybe even feeling a little bit of movement as we drop the ankle towards the floor and then flex it. Maybe finishing with one so we've got the top of the foot on the floor rolling all the way through. So then we've got the toes tucked under and we push the heel away. And then come back in to that tabletop position and stretch the left foot back, same thing. Just rocking forwards and backwards over the toes. So we're getting a little bit of movement through the feet, the hands and the wrists here as well. And then change the foot, so we've got the top of the toes on the foot. And then just keep moving forwards and backwards, rolling through the foot. And then see if you can take that roll so we can roll all the way through the top of the foot, over the toes, and press the heel backwards. Good. Come back to sitting or kneeling. Bring the palms together and then see if you can open the hands out. So just taking the weight off the hands for a minute, let's move through the fingers. And then start to scrunch them down and then stretch them out. So making a heart shape and then making a flower shape. Good. All right, back on to our hands and knees. Okay, so we're gonna take some little elbow dips. So as you exhale, dip the elbows towards the floor and then lift them back up again. So rather than rocking the hips back, See if you can keep the hips up as if you were in puppy dog 
and drop the elbows towards the floor there. Pushing up out of the ground. And then come back to neutral. Step the right foot behind you or slide the right foot behind you. And then as you exhale, pull the knee in, rounding through the back. Stretch the leg behind and then exhale, rounding again. Then try and put the movement together. So we're going to pull the knee in, round through the back, dip the elbows. So we're going to work through the muscles in the arm. Getting the core to work and then also firing the, those muscles that help to bend the knee, flex the hip. And then lengthen and straighten. And then if you want, we can hold here with the left arm extended too. If it's too much with the arm, just keep the leg lifted for a moment. And then take the hand down, take the knee down. Swap sides. So we're stepping the left foot back. Lift the left leg. And then breathe out. Pull the knee in and round. Stretch away. Exhale. Pull the knee in and round. And then stretch away. And then see if you can take those little elbow dips. So we're mixing the two bits together. Extend that left leg, hold it there. Maybe come into that extra balance with the, left, the right arm lifted. Breathe. And then take the hand down, take the knee down. Tuck the toes back under, exhale, lift the hips up. Come to down dog, but walk your feet back in, or hands rather, so hands towards the feet, let the head hang. It's generous bend in the knees. And then slowly round, all the way up. So we come up to standing, shift the weight over, pull the right knee up and draw some circles with the right leg as we balance. And then back the other way. Pull that right knee up in towards your chest, see if you can hold it there and then bend the left leg. So if you're going to come into a one-legged chair pose, wrap that right leg over the left. So now we're in our eagle leg. See if you can then take your eagle arms. So we're going to cross the left elbow over the right. Wrap the arms. Unravel the arms. Unravel the legs. Come back up. Standing on the right leg, take the left leg up. So we've got those circles with the left leg. So a few circles one way, then when you're ready, pull the circles back the other way. And again, we're going to use our core, our muscles in our hips, our thighs to pull the left knee up. Exhale, sit back down into that one-legged Uktasana on the right side. Cross the left leg over, eagle legs. Reach the arms out if you're going to bring the arms in. This time we've got right arm crossing over the left. So it can just be back to the hands pressing together, or we can go for that extra little wrap with the wrist and the hand as well. Unravel, take the hands back behind you, lift the chest, tilt the pelvis and the chest upwards. Maybe the head drops all the way back, maybe it doesn't, maybe you want to stay looking in front. And then release, come back into the middle, hinge at the hips. So we're moving from the hip joint to bring the belly and the chest forward. Keep the hands clasped together if you can, and then let the shoulders move to let the arms drop forwards. Release the hands back down towards the floor, and then come into a halfway leg. And then bend the knees. So exhale, come to chair. As you inhale, fold into halfway lift. And then exhale, sweep it down. 
full forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, come back to chair. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chair. So we're just moving through the joints from the hip, the knees, the ankles. Um, from our chair pose to our fold, pausing in the center or in between the two as we move from our halfway lift. If it's too much to bring the hands on the shins and they can come to the thigh and the hands don't have to touch the floor as we come to fold. And again, in that chair pose, if it's too much to reach the arms up, bring the hands into prayer. Yeah, like I say, it's the movement in the lower part of the legs that we're focusing on. See if you can go for one more round. So we're coming to chair, halfway lift, and fold. Back to halfway lift. Good. Bend the knees. This time, powering yourself all the way up to Tadasana again. And then exhale, come all the way back down towards the floor. Walk the hands back out. Come into your downward facing dog. Give yourself a little pedal out. And then hold. Push forwards, come to plank. And then exhale, lower down towards the floor. So you could use a chaturanga or come knees and chest to the floor. Inhale, peel the back up. Cobra. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Inhale and down dog. And then as you exhale, come forwards to plank. Lower down towards the floor. And then rise up through to a cobra. Exhale, push it back to downward facing dog again. Breathe in. Exhale, push forwards to plank. Lower to the floor. So this time, keep yourself here for cobra. Find those muscles in the lower back. Use them to start to lift you up. So we want to think about moving through the very lower bit of the spine. And then exhale, roll it back down. So try and peel the lower back up off the floor. And then lower. So mobilizing, firing up the muscles in the lower back to help us then move through the spine. So you're getting some activation coming all the way along the length of the spine then as we go. One more. And then reach the fingertips behind you to locust pose. See if you can do the same thing without the hands there. Keep the hands there if you need it in cobra. And we're going to finish off with two more. Just bringing the legs into it if you want. So as the back lifts, we're going to take the left thighs up and lower. And then again, back lifts, try and take the thighs away from the floor. Lower down and then find a child's pose. So allowing the angles to open, knees to bend. Rounding through from the hips. Arms can just go wherever feels good. And then take the hands back out in front. Push up to tabletop so we can tuck the toes under and exhale, lift back to downward facing dog. Step forwards with the right foot. Drop the knee, come into low lunge. So from low lunge, we're gonna exhale, push it back, come to half split. Inhale, 
rock forwards into your low lunge and then exhale, take it back. So one more. And then you can either stay working with the back knee on the floor or push the back leg up or the back knee up and then we're gonna do the same thing, straighten the legs and then bend the front knee. So coming in from a high lunge back to pyramid. Two more here if we can. Plant the hands then back down on the floor. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, take yourself down towards the floor. Again, shadow angle there if you want, or whatever back bend. Your choice to then push us back to downward facing dog. Inhale in down dog, and then bring yourself forwards with the other side. So we want the left leg in front. Starting with that low lunge to half split. So exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, push the hips back. Rock forwards. So one more time, just moving with the breathing, feeling the joints move through the lower part of the body again. And then we've got the choice of keeping the back knee down or lifting. And then just same thing. Exhale, stretch it. Inhale, bend it. Make any adjustment you want with the hands, moving them forwards and backwards, maybe even taking the hands away from the floor as we come into pyramid one more time. Come back to that lunge position, step back to plank, and then exhale, squeeze the elbows in, move through the shoulders, come towards the floor, push up through to whatever back bend you're using, and then exhale, downward facing dog. So all the movements in the body then, uh, joints in the body having to help us move through that little flow. And then we're gonna bring the knees to the floor and just make our way through into a seated position. So sitting up with a little bit of length through the spine. You can have the legs any which way they want to go then now. And just take the arms out to the side. Start to draw some little circles forwards. So getting that movement then now through the shoulders. See if you can start to make those circles bigger. draw the start to draw those circles backwards until they get smaller and smaller and smaller reach them out take the right arm up left arm down see if you can bend the elbows to bring the fingers to touch no worries if they don't inhale open the arms out come around the other way so we're coming into those cow face, Gumakasana arms, but because we're not holding, it doesn't matter whether the fingers touch, we're just getting the elbows to bend, moving the hands around as if we could bring the fingers to touch. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. One more to either side. And then release the arms, bring the hands down. Just let the legs release back out in front, roll all the way down to the floor, open the arms. So we'll just finish with a nice little windscreen wipe of the knees. So knees can be as wide or as close as you want. Exhale, roll the knees one way. And then exhale, roll the knees the other.
come back to the middle. Walk the feet, the hands away. Nice full body stretch. And then hug the knees in. So take a moment to set the feet come to the floor, maybe walk away from you with the feet. Close the eyes. That feels good. Pause for a moment there. Feel the body stretched out across the floor. Seeing all the joints that have been moved. And then slide the feet up to bend the knees, rolling around onto your side and slowly making your way up to a comfortable seated position wherever that might be. Inhale, flip the arms up and then exhale, bring your hands down to your centre as you bow your head to your fingers. Thank you so for taking the time and the effort to get the body moving and we'll see you there practicing with Namaste. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little flow. Um, well done for moving and stretching and strengthening through the body. Remember, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel and know when our next video is out, hit the button now and I will see you then. Take care now. Bye.